if freedom of speech is taken away then dumb and silent we may be led like sheep to the slaughter a mind without thoughts a speech without sound a life without freedom a chair without a living soul sitting on it an inevitable chaos this is a conversation between an ordinary person sitting on a chair their voice is can we justify any kind of forcible sexual advances yes why not i'm a man i have needs don't i that's what i want to force myself on how can you do something so disturbing horrific demeaning i think we should enjoy these advances don't you think after all we provoke men to do these things to us provocation is a state of mind force yourself on a women <laughs> just on the grounds of the provocation she in some way passed on to you are you joking then you need help my disgusting friend what do you have to say about our indian culture it is the best culture in the world it teaches us to respect women we are their protectors we are about them it requires us to be pure to get married early not to wear western clothes teach me that i'm superior to any woman how can a culture be so blind we all have got this wrong there is no greater sex every day the rest of the world is advancing we are pushed back or worse we are forbidden to hold hands in public it demeans our culture we are forced to respect the hollow societal norms we discovered kama sutra army plays a very wicked role in india yet we have created sex as a taboo we have isolated interactions with boys and girls at grassroots levels we have inculcated a culture of fear we are taught to be crippled this country has been crippled this is our voice the chair is ordinary just like us it's not an ordinary chair it's a symbol it treats me an ordinary person in an unbiased way for years they have been sitting on these unbiased chairs and deciding it's time for our voice